Bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another perfume video. And today's video is about the French girl smell. How to smell like a French girl. Yeah, French girls are known for the sense of style, the perfect skin, the diet, but also their scent. Yes, because there is a French girl scent and usually it's white, it's clean, it's powdery, it's a little bit sweet. There are many iconic French brands out there like Chanel, Guerlain, that are really capturing the French girl scent. But yes, in this video, I'm going to describe to you what is the French girl scent scent and how to smell like a French girl. So I'm going to describe you the busy day, the typical day of a French girl living in Paris with perfumes. Because yes, for Parisian women, for French women, we love perfume and perfume is everything. We never go out without a perfume. And don't forget what Coco Chanel used to say, a girl without perfume has no future. So let's start this video. So this is a bright sunny morning in Paris and the French girl, the Parisian, has absolutely no time and like every morning she's going to be late at work. She just has the time to take a quick coffee and dressing up very quickly, wearing a white tee, a perfect slim jeans and a beautiful tweed jacket. And before ordering the taxi or taking the underground eating to her work, she's going to carefully, very carefully choosing a perfume. And she has the choices between very powdery, soft Shalimar, beautiful, beautiful oriental perfume by Guerlain. Yes, this is soft, this is powdery with a Guerlinade, a mix of iris, bergamot and vanilla. Soft, delicate, so for sure she's going to have a lot of compliments at work. She also has the choice with Jiki, a little bit more spicy, just to bright her up in this beautiful morning in Paris. This is spicy, aromatic, very powdery, still with the iris from Guerlain. A little bit more green than Shalimar. If it is a very icy, cold day in Paris, she's going to love Brume d'hiver by Volnay, beautiful uh, brand still in the market, beautiful, very old French iconic perfume brand. Brume d'hiver, so winter brume, is a beautiful, super powdery, a little bit aromatic uh, perfume with rose and something very resinous also in the base. This perfume is going to help her to face a very cold day in Paris. She also can choose En Passant by Frédéric Mal, a beautiful green aquatic uh, perfume with lilac and cucumber, beautiful uh, green, fresh and bright perfume. She has a lot of super conservative meeting at work. She definitely going to choose Chanel number no. five, a beautiful aldehyde perfume, super clean, super soapy, very feminine, a little bit sensual also. This perfume is going to give her a lot of super power. She's going to feel super confident with this perfume. It's chic, it's feminine, and she's going to smell very expensive. You also can choose Nina Ricci L'Air du Temps. Beautiful perfume that I reviewed a few months ago. I love this one. This is a very warm aldehyde perfume, a little bit spicy on the dry down. It's clean and it gives a well put together effect. And before leaving home and choosing a perfume, she's not going to forget to kiss a little dog. So after a very busy morning full of meetings, the French girl received a lot of messages from friends and now she's going to have a lunch, a lunch with her girlfriends or a sister, casual lunch in Boulevard Saint-Germain, probably in one of the many French bistro in Boulevard Saint-Germain. So she's going also to refresh a little bit and of course applying perfume because she wants to smell good. She also wants something a little bit powdery, light, bright, but not too overwhelming because if you put too much perfume 
for a lunch it might be a little bit uncomfortable so she has a lot of choices she can also choose 31 rue cambon 31 rue cambon by chanel a very woodsy spicy perfume a little bit ombre in the base with a beautiful sensual ylang ylang also can choose one of the diana vreeland perfume and this one is called Deliciously bold. This is a very green, aromatic, fresh uh, perfume, but it smells amazing. Tabablon by Caron, an iconic smoky perfume. If you love, you know, this very clean, powdery French uh, smell, you're gonna love this one. It's slightly tobacco, slightly smoky in the base. But it's such a beautiful, clean, powdery French perfume. Jardin de Bagatelle by Guerlain and I love, love this one. This is a very clean, whitey, powdery perfume with a beautiful jasmine, citrus, a lot of agrumes also. This is clean, fresh, powdery, whitey and a lot of aromatic notes also on the opening. Mitsuko by Guerlain, much more powdery than Jardin de Bacadel, but Mitsuko is beautiful. This is a spicy, warm, powdery perfume. Reminds me a little bit of L'Air du Temps, but much more spicy. Joy, beautiful, uplifting perfume, perfect for a lunch with a French girlfriend. This is a beautiful floral perfume, super powdery. If she has a lunch with her boyfriend or let's say a companion or a husband, she's going to choose of course Diorissimo beautiful perfume. If you wear Diorissimo, I swear, I swear every guy, every guy is going to compliment you. This is the most sensual, dreamy and romantic perfume I ever smell with a beautiful lily of the valley. It's green, aromatic, fresh on the opening and the lily of the valley gets more powdery white uh, on the dry done. It was also the signature perfume of Lady D, Queen Elizabeth. Many French also actresses love this one. This is such a chic perfume. Leur Bleu, which is also the most romantic perfume ever with a strong powdery notes with iris violet on the dry done rose neroli this is such a romantic perfume perfect for a tete a tete with your boyfriend or another one fleur nocturne by isabelle which smell a beautiful sensual gardenia so it's clean it's white it's very powdery also with a beautiful apricot blossom so a little bit sweet also on the dry done such a beautiful perfume a beautiful one named lamb sir by divine or soulmate in english such a beautiful perfume if you have a lunch with your boyfriend your husband or your date yes this is a floral aldehyde perfume a little bit spicy on the dry done this is a gorgeous gorgeous perfume i swear so after this beautiful lunch with her girlfriend or her boyfriend the french girl is heading back to the office where she's going to work all afternoon end of the day 7 p.m 8 p.m and it's time to coming back to home and maybe also get dressed for a beautiful diner quick shower or a long bath it depends if a french girl has time but she's always late i swear in paris you're always late and she will use the roger gallet bath collection the beautiful rose shower gel uh, and the rose body lotion she also can use the hoods of Windsor beautiful also collection which smell divine she will transform herself from the cute smart ingenue you know the cute and smart french parisian to the most seductive woman for a beautiful diner and also she wants to be the la grande classe parisienne and for that to achieve la grande classe parisienne she's going to choose between different perfumes so the first one is eau du soir by Sisley. i love this one this is so la grande classe parisienne definitely for a very expensive place or very smart classy and chic diner so this one is a beautiful aromatic but warm green perfume it's green but it's warm with a beautiful white flower called the syringa which smell a little bit like the jasmine but more fresh and more green probably a little bit more aromatic too 
beautiful green warm perfume. If you don't like sweet perfume or too powdery perfume, you're gonna love this one. Also can wear Guttal Nuit et Confidence. Oh my gosh, I love, love this one. I also love, you know, the bottle of this one. This is so cute, so beautiful. It's a spicy white vanilla, so definitely powdery, but definitely also sweet in the dry done. There's something very gourmandish also in this one, so definitely a sweet, a spicy, a little bit carnal also perfume. Rouge by Hermès, definitely la grande classe parisienne. It's a deep dark sandalwood perfume. So it smells a lot of sandalwood with rose, rose sandalwood, ambery uh, perfume too. So woodsy, flowery, powdery, beautiful sensual perfume. So chic, so velours, so boudoir, so definitely for a beautiful diner in Paris. She also can wear, and she loves very French oriental perfume. She can wear Samsara or Naima by Guerlain. Two beautiful, very oriental perfume. They both have peach in the opening, while Samsara is more woodsy, ambery, a little bit darker than Naima. Naima is more clean with aldehyde at the opening. So after a very romantic diner, she's coming back home and she's going to walk her dog, taking a very long, long relaxing bath. And while she's wearing her pyjama, she's going to choose different perfume before going to bed. And she can wear Oubigan Quelques Fleurs beautiful soapy perfume. This is a perfect after bath relaxing perfume. Of course, it's classy, it's expensive, it's very soapy and it smells exactly like a white French soapy bar beautiful, clean, soapy, whitey perfume. Don't forget also the body cream and the dusting powder. This is gorgeous and beautiful uh, product line. There's something vintage, classy, old school that I love about the dusting powder. And the body cream also from Oubigan is divine. And this is the end of the French Girl Day. Busy, as you can see, very busy day in Paris. And this is also the end of the video. So how to smell like a French girl. I give you a lot of different perfume that are really capturing the French girl scent. But usually the French girl scent is powdery, clean, a little bit soapy, with a lot of aldehyde. So aldehyde perfume are very typical of this French girl scent with this well put together effect also. I love the clean effect of uh, aldehyde perfume. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy this video about how to smell like a French girl. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget also to check my other videos. I also do fashion videos if you want to know how French girl dress in Paris. So that's it for today. I hope to see you soon. Bye.